Hello, this is Joseph again. Ford Crown Victoria. How do the headlamps work in a parking lot? Now, let's examine the circuit. A little tricky and, and pretty complicated circuit. As always, we start here. This is the switch that we are activating, either in park or uh, uh, headlamps. Well, we're going to put it for, let's say, for uh, um, uh, headlamps. So, this is a circuit breaker. Maybe you've never seen this before. The schematic, but this is a circuit breaker. F current will flow here through the circuit breaker. We're in the on position, which is headlamps. Go through here. Go through here. Go through here. Now, this is a multifunction switch. We're in... <coughs> we're in... You can have headlamps either in a high position or high beam position or low position. Either one. If we have it in a low position, we're going through here. Right low beam. Left low beam will be turned on. And the same if we have this in a high position, multi-function uh, switch, we'll go here, here. This, these will be activated. Left high beam switch. High beam indicator light, right high beam from this switch in this position. Now, interesting diagram is the reason that I that I said it is because if you look, there is a connection before the switches. You don't have to activate the switches. This is daytime running lights. <clears throat> so let's look at it and analyze it. Current can still flow. Forget about the switch. Current can still flow. Can't flow over here. This has not been activated yet. Current will flow here. Daytime, day and night sensor amplifier. To activate this. Once this is activated, current will flow to this coil and this relay. Now, what will happen? This will be activated. You see the orange at rest position, and this will and when it's activated. So now the switch is activated. The contacts are uh, activated, so to say. Current can flow now in this direction. This direction, same as before. Go to the low beam or go to the high beam. Why? We don't need these switches. This takes care of this daytime uh, sensor amplifier. In the daytime, you can have daytime running lights. You don't need to put this in uh, uh, any position. Not in the parking, not headlamps. Over here. Here, triggers this. Come back over here, triggers this. Then this is triggered, triggered, same as before, this. Amazing, no? Then if you want to pass someone, when we flip the switch, let's say we were in low Okay, we put this headlamps over here, a low position. We f these are ganged together. I call them Siamese twins. Okay, if one goes, the other one goes. So let's say we go over here to pass someone. We flip it. This will go to pass, and this will go to pass from here to here, from here to here. So, we have a path for current in this way. We have a path for current in this way. In other words, all these will be flashed. They're all connected, as we went through before. This, these are connected through this way. These are connected through this way. And all, when you flash them, all go and flash. So, <coughs> excuse me, a little complicated. But Ford, Ford cars, Lincoln Mercury, they are tough, tough, tough. They are different kind of beasts, so to say. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. Hope to see you next time.